Hello all. So today I'm talking about a Honda Odyssey and how you can go about fixing emission problems when it comes to the catalytic converter and a couple of basic things you go about doing that you might be able to fix the problems. You might be able to fix this on the cheap. As most know, the catalytic converter is located up underneath the vehicle and it's for emissions. And there's two main reasons why a catalytic converter fails is that it just failed because it got punctured or got damaged or something along these lines, or it just became all clogged up and it's time to be replaced. And a very common thing with catalytic converters is that if they're only driven inside the city, that they can become clogged up and they really just need to be blown out. So if you're not driving it out on the freeway and revving up the engine at all, then it's very likely it just become clogged up and it really just needs to be blown out. So one low cost thing that you could try is that you could buy some catalytic converter cleaner and there's different brands. One brand is like this Cataclean, but there's different types. And basically the way this works is it's a gas additive and you, so you put it in the gas tank and then you take the vehicle out on the freeway and you, you drive it like 15, 20 miles. You really rev up the engine, you know, try to blow out any buildup inside of the catalytic converter and then you clear the code and then hopefully it doesn't come back. Th this can work for a lot of people, but like I said, it mainly depends if it's like hasn't been revved up. If you've been taking your Odyssey out on the freeway a lot and you've been revving up the engine, then it's probably not going to help. But if you've just been driving around the city, you know, you're just hitting stop signs and stop lights and you're not really revving up the engine that much, then it could help. I mean, it's a common thing that this does help. So if, that, if you think that's the way the vehicle has been driven, then it's worth a try. It does work in many cases and it can add mileage to that catalytic converter. And so if this doesn't work, then very likely you will need to replace this catalytic converter because it's just gone bad. But one thing to keep in mind is that the way the onboard computer knows what's going on in the catalytic converter is through the oxygen sensors. There'll be one after it and there'll be one before it. They call them downstream and upstream oxygen sensors. And if one of these fails, then it could be sending the bad data back to the onboard computer. So there might not be nothing wrong with the catalytic converter. But if one of these goes bad, then the onboard computer thinks there is, so it throws out this code. And oxygen sensors, they're low cost parts. They're not very expensive. They can be kind of a pain to change out, but it's a straightforward task. They'll be bolted onto the exhaust system one after one before. And usually if one of these fails, you're gonna get an error code. And so you're gonna get something like a P0420 catalyst system efficiency below threshold bank one or something along these lines. Of course, sometimes a bad oxygen sensor and a bad catalytic converter, they can have the same error code sometimes. So it's, it's kind of hard to tell. But if you have any OBD2 codes on the computer, it's a good idea to read those and see what's going on. If you don't have an OBD2 scan tool, automotive stores will usually scan it for free and tell you what the codes on there are. There's some low cost, cheap options too for that. You could get like a OBD2 dongle or something like that. They're like 10 bucks on Amazon. It's not along those lines. But just keep in mind that if the oxygen, one of these oxygen sensors fails, then there might not be nothing wrong with the catalytic converter but the onboard computer just thinks there is since one of these has failed. And there's some ways you could test these. You want to check the wiring too, since bad wiring could cause the same symptoms as a bad sensor. If something came up underneath the car and hit that wiring, it could cause problems. And there's your YouTube videos on how you could test them if you wanted to. But this is something to keep in mind is that if one of these fails, then there might not be nothing wrong with the catalytic converter, but what the onboard computer thinks there is. And so it's thrown out this error code. So if you've done all that, if you run something like Cataclean through the vehicle and you and you drove it like 15, 20 miles, you clear the code and it comes back, you check the oxygen sensors and all that, then very likely you will have to change out the catalytic converter at that point. And replacing one of these can be kind of a pain. It really just depends on how rusted up the bolts are. That's the main thing is that it's kind of a straightforward task because you'll have like two bolts because it'll be bolted on either side and how difficult it is to remove would depend on how rusted up these bolts are. Sometimes they could be really rusted up and sometimes they could be easy to remove. It just varies. It just depends. But in some cases, it can be kind of a job. So you might want to take it to a mechanic at that point. But that's basically it. I just want to give a real quick brief overview of how you go about fixing a, a Honda Odyssey if you're, if you're having a mission problem with the catalytic converter. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me. I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.